Hello, welcome. I hope that you enjoy making this and I can't wait to see everyone's creations. So let's get started making this jellyfish or octopus, whichever one you want to call it. Let's get started. Materials for the jellyfish are pretty basic. You will need Bernat velvet yarn. I used the color smoky blue and I also had a 10.5 ounce skein of yarn. You will also need Bernat baby velvet yarn. I chose the color white and I only used a 3.5 ounce skein of yarn. You will need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. pair of scissors, two 20 millimeter safety guys with the backings, you can also use smaller ones if you prefer, two stitch markers, if you don't have stitch markers I also use a coated paper clip that is slightly bent out of shape. You will also need polyfill and a yarn needle to close up the creation. To make the tentacles, we will start with the longer tentacles and use the Bernat Velvet yarn. I leave about a six inch tail and make a slip knot. Then I chain 50. Once I have chained 50, I will go into the second chain from hook and place two double crochets into that one chain. I will repeat this all the way down the chain, placing two double crochets into each chain spot. When you are done with this tentacle, you should have around 98 double crochets. As you can see, it starts to curl, which is exactly what we want. When you finish crocheting two double crochets into each chain, you will need to fasten off. I leave about another six inch tail, so quickly fasten off. Cut the yarn, leaving a six inch tail. Pull out your working yarn, then take the two tails and tie them into a double knot. This just helps to secure the two tails together and it will be easier to tie them into the body of the jellyfish when we get to that stage of the pattern. Here I like to fix the curls so that they're going all in one direction. If you like the curls going in all different directions, you can skip this part.
own tentacle is done. Now make five more of the same color, or if you want to make change up colors, you could use different colors of Bernat Velvet yarn and make the tentacles all different colors. You also need to make six short tentacles. The only difference in the process is that you chain 30 instead of 50. I made mine out of Bernat Baby Velvet in white. So you use your Bernat Baby Velvet, chain 30, and then place the two double crochets into each chain. Double knot the top and you're done with all six. So at the end, you should have 12 tentacles in total. Six short, six long. To start the body of the jellyfish, we make a magic ring. Now, if you can't make a magic ring yet, or you don't like making a magic ring, you can also do the chain two method, which is you make a slip knot, chain two, and place six single crochets into the second chain from hook. And then you continue the pattern like any other crocheting in the round project. I will not be using the chain two method. I will go back and make a magic ring and place my first six single crochets into the magic ring. If you do choose to use the chain two method, please remember to crochet over your starting tail so that you can use it to tighten up the center at the beginning of your project. Pull the magic ring closed and place the stitch marker in the last stitch. I will be using my out of shape paper clip for most of this, so you can use normal stitch marker or whatever you use and prefer as a stitch marker. Now we will place six increases, meaning two stitches for each previous stitch. In the end, you should have 12 total stitches. I would like you to know that this pattern is available on my Etsy shop. If you need a handwritten pattern to follow along with the video, there's a link down below in the description section. For the next round, we will place one single crochet and then an increase in the second stitch. So we will go single crochet in the first stitch, into the next stitch we will place two single crochets. Continue this pattern all the way around. When you're done, you should have 18 stitches.
For the next round, we will place two single crochets and then an increase. So for the first stitch, we place a single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. In the third stitch, two single crochets. This is your increase. Repeat this pattern all the way around. When you're done, you should have 24 stitches. For the next round, we will place three single crochets and then an increase. Repeat this pattern around, and when you're done, you should have 30 stitches. The next round, we place four single crochets and then an increase. Repeat around your circle. When you're done, you should have 36 stitches. For round seven, we place five single crochets and then an increase. Repeat around, and when you're done, you should have 42 stitches. Round eight, we place six single crochets and then an increase. Repeat around, and when you're done, you will have 48 stitches.
round nine is our last round of increase. For this round, we will place seven single crochets and an increase. When you repeat that around, and when you're done, you will have 54 stitches. For rounds 10 through 21, you will place one single crochet in every stitch. So for the next 12 rounds, you will have 54 stitches in each round. For round 22, we place seven single crochets and then decrease. And by the time you're finished, you will have 48 stitches in the round. So place your seven single crochets. Now, insert your hook into your next stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is a decrease. Repeat this around, so seven single crochets, one decrease. When you're done, you will have 48 stitches. Now we will stop and before we start the next round we will take our second stitch marker and mark the back loop only of the very first stitch. We will come back to it 
in the next round, but for round 23, which is our current round, we will only be working in the front loops. So go ahead and mark it so it will be easier for you to find when you come back to it. Now take up your hook and for this round, in the front loops only, place two double crochets into each stitch. When you're done, you should have around 96 stitches. What you're doing is creating the ruffle around the bottom of a jellyfish or octopus. Again, only work into the front loops for this round. When you finish making the ruffle, slip stitch into the very first double crochet. As you can see, I did leave my normal stitch marker in place. This was to help me know where that first double crochet was at. So I didn't put too many stitches into my ruffle. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet. I like to go ahead and replace my first stitch marker. You don't have to. I do. Now, go ahead and remove the second stitch marker, but keep your fingers on that back loop so that you don't lose it in the work. For round 24, we will be working in the back loop only. We will place six single crochets and then a decrease. So six single crochets, back loops only. and then a decrease. Repeat this around, and when you're done, you should have 42 stitches.
go ahead and place your stitch marker into that last stitch. You no longer need the second stitch marker so you can put it aside. As you can see, it's still on the table in front of me. Now it is time to attach the short tentacles. Push through your first stitch, grab a small tentacle, a short one, and pull through one of the tails. Go to the next stitch and pull through the other tail. Now, double knot these tails. What you're doing is securing it into the body of the jellyfish. Toss the tails into the body and the tentacle out. Now, skip five single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and in the next stitch, the sixth one, grab another short tentacle, pull through one of the tails. Go to your next stitch and pull through the second tail. Double knot. The minimum you need to do is double knot. You can tie more knots if you want. You can even tie the tails together within the body if you want more security. Go ahead and count the next five single crochets you need to skip. And in the sixth Grab another tentacle, pull through the first tail. Go to your next stitch and pull through the second tail. Double knot and continue around to have all six of the short tentacles attached. This is actually the hardest part of this entire project. So once you get past attaching the tentacles, you're good. If you can do this, you can do the whole project. Now, I like to make sure all the tails are inside the body of the jellyfish and all the tentacles are outside the body. Because for round 25, we will be single crocheting in every stitch around the body. Go ahead and pick up your hook and go back to your starting point. I will place a single crochet at the very beginning, right next to that first tentacle, making sure the tail is inside. Now, cross over the white and go to the next stitch that's available. And you single crochet around the white tentacle. Go ahead and place normal single crochets. Get as close as you can to that white tentacle. Crochet over it, making sure the tails are inside. And continue around. I do like to tug on the tails to make sure they're fully seated inside the body. Just make sure that the tentacle is facing out of the body or else you will crochet it into the center 
of the jellyfish. When you're done with this round, you should have around 42 stitches. I say around because you may lose a few stitches here and there, and it's okay. This pattern is very forgiving for that. So if you're close to the designated number, you're okay. Because you did lose a few stitches probably from where you tied in those tentacles. For the next session, we will place our eyes. I place mine between rounds 11 and 12, about eight stitches apart. I do use the safety backs because most of my soft toys will go to my church where we will use them for baby showers. So I'll make sure that they are well secured because some of the mothers to be tend to take them home. So I want the eyes to be very secure so that they do not fall off around small children or even small animals. So I like to make sure that my backings go through more than one of the ridges of the safety eye. I try to get them as tight as possible. For round 26, you will work five single crochets and a decrease. Continue around and when you're done you should have around 36 stitches. A stitch here, a stitch more or a stitch less, two or three, it's okay. This is basically just closing up the body as we continue and it's going to be on the bottom. So as long as you have don't have any gaping holes you can miss a stitch here and there. By this point in the pattern, I don't really worry about missing a stitch or two because of the tentacles. If it was at the beginning, I would restart, but because it's not, this section is very forgiving of that. If it really bothers you, you can go ahead and fudge, increase or decrease depending on your needs. Now it is time to attach the long tentacles. 
we will do it the same way however this time I will just eyeball each long tentacle it should be placed evenly between two white and yes my first tentacle actually does get placed in the very first stitch so pull your first tail through your first stitch pull your second tail through your second stitch double knot and go to the next two white tentacles look at it and see about where it should go that looks about even so that's where I'll place it grab a tentacle and pull through the first tail and go to the next stitch pull through the second tail double knot and continue on continue in the same manner until you have all the long tentacles attached Once all the tentacles have been attached, we will finish closing up the body. For round 27, you should place a single crochet in every stitch around, and when you're done, you should have around 36 stitches. Don't forget that you were crocheting around the tentacles, just like we did with the white ones. So you get as close as possible and then crochet around that tentacle. Making sure that the tails are on the inside of the body and the tentacles are on the outside. Just like I'm doing here. remembering to slightly tug on the tails to make sure that they are pulled completely into the body. This is probably the trickiest part of this entire pattern. So once you get it, you're good to go. And it's almost done. Doing it this way also makes this pattern very low sew, which is a big plus because sewing all these tentacles in would be a very big pain. For round 28, we will place four single crochets and decrease. Repeat around. When you're done, you should have around 30 stitches. At this point in the pattern, we are going to stuff the body of our jellyfish. So I like to pull up a loop at my starting point, 
set my hook aside and stuff. Make sure all those tails get inside the body and stuff some more. More stuffing. Check to see how it's looking. Yeah, more stuffing can most likely go in. For the next round, which is round 29, we will place three single crochets and then a decrease. Repeat around, and when you're done, you should have around 24 stitches. For round 30, we will place two single crochets and a decrease. Repeat around, and when we're done, we will have around 18 stitches. At this point, stuff some more because this is your last, close to your last chance to add any stuffing that you might want because that hole is getting smaller and smaller. So go ahead and stuff if you want to add more stuffing. And when you are done stuffing, you will do round 31 which is one single crochet and a decrease, continuing around. And when you're done with that round, you should have about 12 stitches. Just remember not to overstuff to make your stitches gap open because that will ruin the look of the bottom and your stuffing will be able to come out if you overstuff. For the final round, which is round 32, place decreases all the way around until you have six stitches left. This creates a very small hole that you will sew closed. Once you have all your stitches in place, Go ahead and fasten off with a long tail that you can use to then sew your hole. I cut a long tail, pull through with my hook, creating a small knot, 
tighten it. Go ahead and thread my sewing, my yarn needle. And because that hole is so small, it doesn't take much. I just go across and pull. And then I just keep going around until the hole's closed. Go in, pull almost fully, but use my fingers to hold a little bit, get the tail out, and make a knot. Go into the creation again and do the same thing. Now I will bury that tail within the body of the jellyfish. Multiple directions. This helps for the to keep the tail from working its way out over time. In my last one, I go through up into the body and give it a slight tug and cut while I'm pulling it so that it will bury itself into the body. If you want, you can add eye detail using some of the Bernat Baby Velvet. I go in through the side and leave a tail. Pretty good tail. And then I go to the almost like a tear duct corner and then go across into the same position on the other eye. And just get it to hook right under the edge of the safety eye and try to do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, I did mess up the first time, but it's easy to take out. Don't like it, so I pull it out and I try to insert my needle a little closer to the eye this time. A lot closer and I go off to the side pull it get that little bit of yarn to hook underneath the safety eye and now I will where my yarn is coming out I will insert my needle back into that same hole and go all the way across to where I started the yarn all the way back to that tail from the same entrance point. There I will tie a knot. Tie a good double knot. And then bury those tails within the body as well. Just remember not to pull too tightly because it will pull on the eye detail around the safety eyes. Bury any of the tails and get any of the fuzz off. As you can see, I did pull a little too tightly, so I will use my fingers and my yarn needle to pull it back out just a little bit. And your little jellyfish slash octopus is done. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope that you enjoyed making this cute little animal, this cute little plushie. The written pattern is in my Etsy shop with the link in the description below.